What is the issue? I used different methods to do it, but end there with different values. I checked and found that method 1 gets the correct value, but what about method 2? So let's go ahead, go over both methods first, and I'll talk about why the second method is incorrect. Starting from the first one right here, we have this thing squared. Let's just multiply the out. So we will have the integral going from 0 to 1. To expand this, you first square the e to the x. e to the x squared, we get e to the 2x. And then we add 2 times this and that, which is 2e to the x. Finally, we add 1 squared, which is 1. And now we are ready to integrate. Integrating e to the 2x, we first get e to the 2x. But wait, don't forget to check the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of 2x is 2. It's just a number 2, not like the number 2 pencil, but it's just a constant number 2. Whenever the derivative of the inner function is just a number, you can just go ahead and divide it by that number. So we have that 1 half there. Continue. Integrating 2e to the x is just 2e to the x. Integrating 1 in the x world is x. So we are done with integration. Now we just have to plug in numbers. The 1 goes in first. So we have 1 half times e to the 2 times 1 and then plus 2e to the first, and then plus 1. This is the first part. And then minus the second part, make sure you also plug in 0, because e to the 0 is 1, so it matters. So we have 1 half e to the 2 times 0, plus 2e to the 0, and then plus 0. All right, let's just finish this, work this out. This is just 1 half e to the second, and then plus 2e to the first. And then how about the numbers? This right here is 2. It's 1 half, I mean. And then plus 2. 1 half plus 1, right? So 1 half plus 2, what am I talking about? 1 half plus 2 is 5 over 2. And then 1 minus 5 over 2, we get minus over 2. And that is the correct answer for this integral, and we are done. But you might be thinking, we have this quantity to the second power, could we just use the reverse power rule first? So we add 1 to the power, we get 3, divided by the new power, we will have 1 third, and then the quantity e to the x plus 1 to the third power. But wait! Maybe we still have to check the derivative of the inner function. What's the derivative of the inner function? e to the x. Yes. So let's go ahead and divide it by the derivative of the inner function. So let's put this down right here. And that's the integration. So much easier. But I'll tell you, this right here is incorrect. And to see why this is incorrect, we can just go ahead and take the derivative of this expression and see if we get back the original. Take a look on Wolfram Alpha, we don't, right? But how come this was okay? This is not. Have a look right here. Look at the inside function, it's a linear function. 2x to the first power. So when we integrate that, we first just get e to the 2x, and then the derivative of the inner function is just a number 2. So we can just divide it by that number. It's like undo the chain rule. Only if the derivative of the inner function is a constant. That's it. And how come this works? Well, if we go ahead, take the derivative of the result, we have the 1 half, and then e to the 2x. Plus e is just get 0, so let's focus on the function part. When we take the derivative, this is just a constant multiple of that function. We can put the constant on the outside. So we are going to get the 1 half here, and then look at the derivative of e to the 2x. The 1 half is just on the outside, and now let's multiply by the derivative of e to the 2x. We first get e to the 2x, and now this is the regular chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is just a 2. 1 half and 2 cancel, and we do get that back. 
Whenever the derivative of the inner function is just a constant, we can proceed like this. If it's a function, no, we cannot. So another famous mistake is the following. Right? We have this right here, but sometimes people would like to do like this, integral e to the x squared dx. This is a famous integral, by the way. Anyway, though, can we just go ahead and say the integral e to the something is just e to the same thing, and then check the derivative inside? The derivative of that is what? 2x. Can we just divide it by, by that? And then don't forget the plus e as always. This right here, again, no. Because the derivative right here is a uh, 2x. If you would like, you can check the derivative of this. Right? We get e to the x squared on the top over 2x. If you want to differentiate this, the first step is to use the quotient rule. You will have to square the denominator, and then you have the 2x inside. Yeah? And then you put the bottom function here times the derivative to the top, which will give us e to the x squared times the derivative in the function, which is 2x, and then minus the second the, the top function, which is e to the x squared times the derivative of the bottom, which is a 2. So this is the top function times the derivative of the bottom. There's no way for you to get that back. In fact, this integral has no elementary answer, meaning you cannot integrate this with the usual functions that you see in your calculus 1 or 2 class.